Hi, my name is Alan from Alan Ray Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, you are in for the treat. Here, I'm selling one of the cheapest freehold inter terrace in Singapore. I know many of you here will say, Alan is going to recommend some Ulu location like Bandai, Sambawang or Loyang area. Don't worry, this location is near Pram District 15, within the rest of the central region, minutes drive away from the city area close to four MRT station, near to eateries, hawker center, and so on. The best part is on freehold tenure and only at 2.4 million. You are right. Where to find freehold landed properties at 2.4 million? You are really in for the treat. Here, let's go. In my previous video, I've mentioned about where are the cheapest freehold landed properties in Singapore? This video has close to 12,000 views today. This is in comparison to another video that I did. Where are the cheapest 99 years leasehold landed properties in Singapore? This video has only 3,000 views instead. You see, I know Singaporean very well. You all only like freehold property. Talk about 99 years one, you all siam until you don't know where to go. That is why I purposely do those videos. The viewership between freehold and 99 years is easily four times more. This really speak volume on the demand and popularity of freehold landed properties in Singapore. What are you waiting for? Firstly, let's head over to study the overall price movement for landed properties over the years. As usual, I will use age property data. I will only compare freehold and triple nine years resale transactions. This will allow us to zoom in clearly on this specific segment and prevent too much deviation. In this chart, the orange line is for the overall price movement from 2013 to 2023. The last 10 years will give us a good view of the market movement over time. We can see that price movement has appreciated by 21% over this period. If I break it down into condominiums data, the light blue line shows that prices have appreciated by 25%. Whereas for landed properties, the dark blue line has appreciated by 42% during the same period. What does this mean? In general, if you bought a landed property back in 2013, your property prices will have appreciated by 68% more to a condominium. That is why LLWE property video got standard one. I will tell you where are the property low bank without you even paying any cost fees to me. You still don't believe in me? Never mind. Let me dive deeper into MapPerson lender data, which fall under District 13. I will zoom into freehold inter terrace data from 2014 to 2024. At a glance, you can see that the average PSF has increased from 1,002 per square feet back in 2014 to a record high of 2,000 per square feet in the first quarter of 2024. This means prices have appreciated by 68% to date. This has surpassed most other asset classes other than your humble BTO HDB flats which are heavily subsidized by taxpayers' money. The answer is right in front of you. That is why I always emphasize freehold landed property can buy. This asset class is going to be like GCB. You will be almost out of reach for 99.9% .9 of Singaporeans. The same will go for freehold inter terrace. A decade ago, maybe 30% of HDB and condo upgraders still can afford it. Today, I will only put it at less than 10% because prices for landed property has shoot up with land scarcity. Just think about it. Everywhere you go, you will see a BTO HDB flats and new condos. Do you see more landed supply in the market? Then you have some that say, Alan, I can easily buy a freehold semi-detached or bungalow in neighboring country with that kind of money. Maybe I can even buy two or three. My take is, if you have money, please by all means go and support their economy. Buying is always easy. Selling is another story. If you can make a profit, I will salute you. If you cannot start, please don't call me Hall. I'm only licensed to sell Singapore properties. But if you ask me where to park my hard-earned money, I will only tell you this. I am a Singaporean. I served my two and a half years of national service at Bale Bar Air Base. Huh? See me? You ask me to take citizenship in your country. You see how? My GCB how? You don't play play with ICA, ho. Singapore don't recognize dual citizenship. 
Anyway, your country got so many guns. Later, they misfire how? Lai Liao, this is the property lobang that you are eagerly waiting for. I am now marketing this inter-terrace in Mapperson Garden Estate. It is at the intersection of Mapperson Road and Upper Arjuni Road. This is a small lander enclave that has about 500 lander properties. They are mainly inter-terrace. It's just behind Jun Sing HDB flat and near the Tai Seng Industrial Estate. If you are travelling along Mapperson Road, it's just next to the road behind Mapperson Mall. In terms of proximity to the MRT station, frankly speaking, it's not near. But you have four MRT stations to choose from. They are only a few bus stops away. Cannot complain already. Behind the HDB flat, you have a supermarket. Along the shop house along Arjuni Road, you have many eateries. What about shopping centre? You have Woolwich Mall. If you want hawker food, you can head down to Circuit Road. So convenient. If you need to be near schools, you have plenty of choices too. This house is within 1km of Carnosa Catholic, Cedar Primary and Mary Stella High. There are also many others within the 2km range. How to go wrong with so many schools around? Remember, Singaporean love schools, especially primary schools. This is your exit strategy. This inter-terrace I'm marketing is about 885 square feet or about 82 square meter. This is slightly bigger than a 3-room HDB corner flat. It measures 18.3 meter in length and 4.5 meter in wide. Not very big, as this is classified as tub 2 with a minimum land area of 80 square meter or 851 square feet stipulated under UI guidelines. This two-story house is in original condition. It is a north-south facing. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. As the land is pretty small, there is no back garden. The front of the house can park a car, but you will need to open your front gate. No choice. Cannot complain already. This is a small inter-terrace. If you have a budget of more than 4 million, please look somewhere else. This is mainly for those who have budget constraint and believe in living in a freehold landed property. If you are a HDB upgrader or condo owner who aspire to own a freehold landed, my to liao. This is also for those who want to pass on a legacy to their children because they know the value will not depreciate in the years to come. It will only go up in the long term. I'm very sure it will. There is why a client shared with me lately that he will only buy freehold landed for legacy planning. I asked him why. He jokingly said, Later your children scold you and ask, Papa, why do you leave behind a property that depreciates in value to me? Truly, it makes sense. That is why you see the savvy and experienced buyers are going for freehold landed. Tam has proven it to be correct again and again. Then there will be those who after watching my earlier video, is this the peak of the property market and refrain from buying. Brother and sisters, that is why always buy a good property in life. They will hold its value very well even during a peak. The historical chart that I have shown you has proven that landed prices will appreciate over time. Even if they drop, how much can they drop? Most original owners have no loans, by the way. Do you think they are hurry to sell? This is unlike condos where most buyers took loans to finance their property. When they cannot hold, they will sell even at a loss. If you are still really scared scared, then please continue to stay in your HDB flat or condominium. Don't later tell me, Ellen, I missed the boat again. I should have listened and bought. Here? Let us move on. Coming back to the house, today rebuilding costs are crazy. Easily can fetch a million or so. Hence, it doesn't make sense to tear down the entire house. If I am you, I will spend a maximum of 200000 to do up the house nicely. Is that possible? A lot of consumers don't know and cannot chop. If you know what to do and where to do it, you can save a lot of money. For example, go for homogeneous floor tiles instead of marble flooring. Go for simple renovation instead of hacking away any walls. In this way, you can always keep your renovation costs low. Anyway, you stay in Mapperson, not Orchard Road. Simple reno can ready. Don't need to waste money. By the way, when I bought my own property, I only spent 5000 and rent it out. Lastly, I come to the end of this video. When I was in Mapperson, I came across this cozy restaurant located at Block 4 Upper Arjunic Lane. This is just behind the landed property that I am marketing. This is a social enterprise that employs female drug offenders 
and provide them with a source of income in a dignified way, especially those above 55 years old. They have a trouble securing employment elsewhere due to their age and skill set. If you are around, please kindly come down and support them. Don't need to waste your money in shopping malls. Please come and spend your weekend here. By the way, there are plenty of car parks. And the best part, you can bring your boyfriend or girlfriend. Nobody will recognize you. The price of the food is also reasonable. I don't think they are halal, but they employ Muslim staff. You get what I mean. Here, I am humble that my channel has more than 4,000 subscribers today. I only hope just 10% of you, yes, just 400 of you, will head down and support them, like how you support this small channel. Everyone needs to start somewhere in life. On behalf of young, traditional Teochew Kui, thank you very much. Anyway, I buy my own lunch, and this is not a sponsored video. That's all. I come to the end of this video. See you in my person soon.